a very appropriate gospel for just before Lent, but wouldn't necessarily follow this way because of the way how Lent keeps moving throughout. So this might have actually happened after Easter, um, but this is, this is the gift for God for us today. The Tuesday um, before Ash Wednesday is the Feast of the Holy Face, and while it's not on the general Roman calendar, it is a feast that used to be celebrated where we recognize the suffering of the face of Christ and spend extra time uh, uh, meditating upon the holy face of Jesus in order to prepare ourselves for Lent. And what a great gospel to help us with this as Jesus reminds the disciples and reminds us that he is to be handed over and to be killed. That Jesus came to die for us. And this great grace, this love from all eternity, poured out so that we could have eternal life. But every time that, especially in the Gospel of Mark, every time that Jesus talks about his impending death, the disciples don't get it. And I think that's important because we don't usually get it either. Um, and so they do not understand the saying, but they were afraid to question him. And then what are they talking about? Who's the greatest? Who is the greatest? Who's the greatest? And Jesus tries to make it clear to them if you're going to be my disciple, a disciple becomes like their master. To follow Christ means that we must also go through the cross. We must go through the cross. And it's only through the cross that we then have the three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise, that we have the resurrection. This is so important for us to remember. Especially a lot of times we can get discouraged by the crosses in our lives. And some people can actually uh, reject Almighty God because of those crosses. And what we've come to realize is that every person has to suffer. And so we look and we say, I can turn this into a moment of grace or I can try to fight against it and become bitter and anguished. The Lord is inviting us to go through it, to push into this cross with him to die to ourselves so that we can find that resurrection in the first reading from Sirach we hear uh, for in fire gold and silver are tested and worthy people in the crucible of humiliation if I were to ha ask for a show of hands how many of you like to be humiliated I'm guessing I'm gonna get zero hands going up and yet and yet, God can use such things in order to draw us closer to Him, in order to purify us of that most grievous of sins, the worst of sins, pride. Pride. Too often we think, you know, like murder or some sort of lust or something like that is the worst of sins. No, but the, the worst of sins is pride. Because it's a rejection of God. It's a rejection of God's help in saying, I'm going to be in charge of my life. And so, he sometimes will use humiliations in order to purify us of pride so that we can become humble. And then this beautiful line, But you who fear the Lord, trust Him, and your reward will not be lost. Your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. You who fear the Lord, love Him, and your hearts will be enlightened. Study the generations long past and understand. He says, look at history. Look at the saints. Look at everyone. He says, has anyone hoped in the Lord and been disappointed? The Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. But too often we reject the cross instead of embracing the cross, leaning into the cross, and I'm speaking about myself as well, instead of accepting the cross and leaning into the cross so that we can get to the resurrection. As we begin this Lenten season tomorrow, it's an invitation for us truly to divest ourselves of ourselves, embrace the cross of Christ so that we can embrace the resurrection. As they say, humility isn't thinking little about yourself, but it's just not thinking about yourself. 
May we uh, be purified throughout this Lenten season. May we be purified so that we may be washed clean of our sins, especially of our pride. Be more conformed to Christ so that we may go through the cross to the resurrection.